good morning my dear students and welcome to big data analytics class so today's class and today's topic is all about the abilities of hive query language difference with the traditional rdbms and hive data models so these are the three important topics we are going to discuss in today's class so let us see the abilities of hive query language so what is a hive query language provides is its its operation is as like the sql operations its operation is as like sql operations so hive query language abilities are ability to filter rows from table using where clause the first ability is to filter the rows from table using the where clause that means it is as like using the sql standard queries another ability of hive query language is ability to store the results of a query into another table that means whenever the results are produced by the hive query language those results can be stored in a another table so that the output can be stored or the results can be stored as a new table another ability is an ability to manage tables and partitions using the create drop alter that means we have a dml ddl statements are there dml stands for data manipulation language data definition languages so using them we can manage the tables and the partitions and the hive query language has the ability to do equi joins between two tables that means we can perform the joins or equi joins on two tables and hive query language having the ability to store the results of a query in hadoop distributed file system that means whatever the results are there the i can store the results in the hadoop distributed file system directory so these are the important abilities of hive query language the first important ability is to filter the rows by using the where clause and whatever the results are there i can store in the another table i can make use of i can manage the data by using the tables and partitions i can perform the equi joins i can store the results of the query in the hdfs directory so these are the abilities of the hive query language let us see the difference with the traditional rdbms so what is the difference is schema on read versus schema on write so hive does not verifies the data when it is loaded but rather than when a query is issued so hive is does not verifies the data when it is loaded but whenever you it performs the querying at that time it verifies so schema on read makes for very fast in the initial loading part since the data does not have to be read parsed and serialized to disk in the database internal format and the load operation is just a file copy or move and no updates transactions and indexes will be there so these are the basic differences with the traditional rdbms with the hive query language so let us see the hive data models the hive data models and represented hive data models are represented in the order of the granularity that is database and tables so tables has time stamp user id referrer url page url and ip will be there so database which is nothing but it consists of the namespace tables will be having the schemas in the namespaces partitions how data is stored in the hdfs grouping data bases on the some columns can have one or more columns buckets or clusters partitions divided further into buckets based on some other column use for data sampling so these are the hive data models that is called database tables partitions buckets or clusters so let us see the partitions what is a partitions partitions means dividing a table into a coarse grain parts based on the value of a partition column such as a date this makes it faster to do queries on a slice of the data that is nothing but partition keys determines how data is stored partitions each unique value of the partition keys defines the partitions of the table 
partitions are named after dates for the convenience. So, partitions are basically nothing but dividing the table into smaller parts so that I can make the data more uh, comfortably accessible. Next we have a buckets. So, buckets give extra structure to the data that may be used for more efficient queries. That is nothing but a join of two tables that are bucketed on the same column including the join column can be implemented as a map side join. Bucketing by user ID means we can quickly evaluate user based on query by running it on a randomized sample of their total set of users. Let us see the example of a bucket. Buckets are nothing but a cluster. So, we have a data here and I have a buckets here. I made a cluster here. In one bucket I kept all the apples, in another bucket I kept all the oranges and in another bucket I kept all the goas. So, it is based on the value of a hash function of some columns of the table. So, if I want to perform the query on the apples, I will go to this bucket. If I want to perform the query on the uh, oranges, I can go to this bucket. If I want to perform the query on the goa, I will go to this bucket. So, this is the benefit of using the buckets. So, in today's class, we have discussed about the hive models, which are very important. That is nothing but the partitions we have learned, buckets we have learned and we have learned about the important schemas, databases, etc. Thank you so much for listening to today's class. We will meet in the next class. Thank you.